Well, hello, Pteranodon family. I know some theropods in the observation car that are waiting for someone, maybe Buddy? Yeah! All aboard! Hi, Laura. Hi, everybody. Hello, Buddy. Hey, Buddy. Welcome to the Theropod Club. Hello, everybody. Laura, I'll be in the passenger coach if you need me. Have a good meeting. Bye, buddy. Bye. Well, now we're all here, we can begin our Theropod Club meeting. I love being with my favorite group in the world, Theropods. Hey, let's do our Theropod cheer. Go, Theropods, go! Big or small, fast or slow. We walk on two legs. With three toe feet. And a Theropod's favorite food is meat. Roar! different features. Derek has his Deinonychus claw, <laughs> Angela with your awesome Avisaurus wings, and I only have two fingers. We all share some features. The ones in our theropod cheer. <laughs> and that's what makes us theropods. <laughs> so, buddy, do you have a hypothesis for us today? Not yet. Oh, wait, here's one. My hypothesis is I love the Therapod Club. <laughs> but Laura, I forgot, because I do forget. Where is the club going today? Today we're going to meet one of my favorite Therapods, an Allosaurus in the Jurassic time period. His name is Alvin. So Alvin is a carnivore, right? He is. Alvin always has lots of fresh meat for his visitors. Fresh meat? Sounds great! Yeah, we Therapods can eat it with our sharp teeth. Roar! <laughs> <laughs> so now do you have a hypothesis? Actually, I do. My hypothesis is that Alvin will have the same Therapod features as me. The same feet, the same teeth, and a long tail. <laughs> <gasps> there it is again! Someone's humming! Follow the prince. <gasps> Over there! My goodness, look! Shh, behind that tree. Mr. King Cryolophosaurus, sir, is that you? Well, who wants to know, little lady? We do. I'm Tiny Pteranodon. This is my brother, Don. Excited little fella, ain't he? And this is my brother, Buddy. And this is our mom. Mom. Uh, little mama. I mean, oh, I mean, uh, How do you, King Mr. Do? I mean, how do you do, Mr. King? Oh, uh, very well. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, but y'all didn't come all the way out here just to see, uh... King, did you? See and hear. Your dinosaur train song is our favorite song ever. It makes me dance. Along with other stuff. Do you kids know that song? Everybody who rides the dinosaur train knows it and loves it, King. Dinosaur train. Oh, dinosaur train. We're gonna ride. Ride, 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 ride. The ride dinosaur the train. train. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, uh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, boy, that felt good. I, I gotta say, I, I kind of miss the music. But why? Don't you sing anymore? Well, not for others. Uh, just when no one's around. You know, King, if I had a cool crest like that, I couldn't help myself. I'd hoot and toot it all day and night. Well, what, this old thing? I can't hoot it nor toot it, buddy. You can't? Uh, you remember how you uh, spotted me behind that tree? Oh, well, that's what my crest is for, uh, attracting attention. King's right, kids. His crest certainly got my attention. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> but I don't really want to attract attention. That's why I stay out here in the woods. So you don't hoot or toot with that crest? Like duckbill hadrosaurs? Never have, never will. Uh, I'm no hadrosaur or little fella. Uh, this crest is solid bone, not hollow. But you're still a theropod, just like me. I love meeting other theropods. Buddy's even in the theropod club. Theropods from all over the Mesozoa come to meet on the dinosaur train. You have to come to a meeting, King. You'd like the snack time. All meat. All the time. Because we're all carnivores! <laughs> yeah. well, buddy, uh, Gilbert, how you doing? We're great! We won't let Team Geranodon down. Right, buddy? Right, Gilbert. <laughs> Go, Therapods! Hey, could that be a Confucius Hornus? Oh, oh, thanks. <laughs> Gilbert.
Uh -huh. Look, it's like a wall of green stuff up ahead. Burn tunnel! Burn tunnel approaching! It's the burn tunnel, like the conductor said. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, Gilbert, are you okay walking up the mountain? We could still carry you. No thanks, Mrs. P. We top theropods love to walk. Um, go theropods! Rawr! Four big rocks, green ones. See? The four green rocks. We must be nearly there. Come on, everybody. Will I always have fun everywhere, Chung? Fun will come to you, and you will take it with you wherever you go. Also, I'm hungry. What can I eat? Ah, enjoy most what you like to taste. Only eat yummy things. Only yummy things? I like that. Great advice, Mr. Chung. And speaking of yummy things, I have a hypothesis. You have three-toed feet, so I guess you're a meat-eating theropod. Superb hypothesis, buddy. I am indeed a theropod, but I don't eat meat. What I like to dine on is... <coughs> fruit. It is my food of choice. Fruit? Really? Yes, I am a fruit-eating theropod. And I also enjoy eating... Fish? Plants? Seeds. Pure, tasty seeds. <laughs> oh, I do enjoy the passing insect, too. And it's big. Stand behind me, kids. <laughs> stopping and came to find out who was here. Hi, um, I was sort of stomping around. Was that you stomping so hard just now? Yep, that's how I like to walk. By the way, I'm Daphne. Hi, Daphne. I'm Tiny Pteranodon, and this is my brother Buddy and my dad, Dad. Hi. Hi. I thought you were going to be a really huge dinosaur. I mean, you were so loud when you were stomping before we could see you. Yeah, I'm not that big, but I can still stomp really loud. It makes me happy. Wait, stomping makes you happy? I was stomping around because I was mad. It's true. Why were you so mad, Tiny? Well, um, you tell her, buddy. Tiny lost her sister's favorite shiny shell. She thinks Shiny's gonna be really mad at her when she gets back home. Find her new shell. That's what we were trying to do. But none of the shells on this beach are shiny enough. Tiny, don't yell. You'll scare away the shells. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Buddy and Daphne, you really look a lot alike. We do? I've been trying to figure out what kind of dinosaur you are, Daphne. Let's see. Um, a Displetosaurus? Whoa! How did you know that? Buddy knows a lot about dinosaurs. You and Buddy have so many of the same features. <laughs> you even have just two fingers. Whoa! You're right, and short little arms. And big heads. And teeth. Ah! Uh... <laughs> you walk on two legs, and so do I. And how about our feet? Mine are pretty big. Mine are even bigger. They're great to stomp around with. My dad says I'll probably grow into my feet when I'm older. I've seen what grown-up T-Rexes look like. They're huge, so that means I'll be huge someday. Hmm, Displetosaurus don't grow to be that tall. Well, that's definitely a difference between us then. <laughs> well, here he is, Sydney Sinovenator. Hello, I'm Sydney Sinovenator. Oh, hey, cuz, long time no see. Indeed, wonderful to see you, Sydney. Hi, Sydney. I'm Tiny Pteranodon. This is my sister, Shiny, and my brothers, Buddy and Dawn. And this is my mom and dad. Hello, 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 hello. Nice to meet you all. Welcome to my starry, starry night. You look at the stars a lot, right? Oh, yes, I do. I look at the stars more than I look at anything else. The stars and I are friends to the end. 
Sydney, I've been looking at the stars for a dawn stellation. A uh, dawn stellation? Yep, a star picture that looks like me. Hmm, uh, I haven't seen a dawn stellation, Don. Uh, but my stars, I would really like to. Sydney and Mr. Conductor, since you're troodontid cousins, I was wondering if we could compare your features. Excellent suggestion, buddy. Let's compare. Hmm, Sydney is shorter. Now, may we see your claws, please? A big claw on Sydney's toe. And a big claw on Mr. Conductor. So you're both nocturnal. Sydney, you have really big eyes. Yes! The better to see at night. It's another troodontid family trait, like our eye shine. The moonlight reflects off our eyes. Time for a tour! A sky tour! You came on a great night, just a sliver of a moon. We should hurry. We don't want to keep the stars waiting too long. Hmm? Sydney, we saw that really bright star earlier, at home, in the same spot. Oh, yes. That's the star of the nightly starry show. Bravo! That star can be found in the same spot, pointing toward the north. I call it Bright Star. How about the sauropod constellation? Shouldn't it be right where I saw it? Good question, Tiny. Often it is hard to find certain stars and constellations. Uh, do you know why? Because there's so many stars up there? I like that answer. Me too. And you're right, buddy. Uh, from here on Earth, we can only see thousands of stars, but there are so many more stars up there in the sky that we can't see. Millions, right? Actually, billions. I have never had the chance to draw one, so I'll keep a sharp eye out as we ride the train. You never know. <gasps> Excuse me, better cover your ears. Stop the train! That's right, buddy. Oh, oh, Laura's here. Mmm, big one. Sure glad we didn't hit it. Nice lookout job, Laura. Thank you, Mr. Conductor. Now, if you will all give me a little room, please. You think she can move it? I bet Laura can move anything. is just a wonderful species of dinosaur. Mom, Tiny! It's the same bird we saw this morning. The Avasaurus? Ah! Oh, it is! Well, it's an Avasaurus. Hey! Avasaurus! Come down! Oh. <laughs> Oops. I think we scared it. Don't worry, kids. I have an idea. That buddy and I scared you. Are you an Avasaurus? Yes! Angela Avasaurus! How did you know? Well, this is our friend Laura the Giganotosaurus. She's a bird watcher and she knows a lot of stuff. Hello! So nice to meet you, Angela. Would you like to ride with us on the dinosaur train a while? Oh, I would love to. It's not too loud, is it? No. Nah. <laughs> Except for the whistle. And a couple other things, but it's great. You'll love riding the train. Well, okay then, let's go! Up close, I can see the color of her feathers even better. And Buddy, even though Angela is very different from you and me, did you know that she too is a theropod? Whoa! So, Derek, my brother Buddy and I... Buddy, are you scared of my claw? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but he's fine. Now, Derek, it looks like your long claw would get in the way when you walk or run. No, I just hold my claws up. 
away from the ground. It works fine. I've been wondering why our species has such huge, sharp claws, and I have a hypothesis. He means an idea you can test. Oh, what's your idea, buddy? My hypothesis is your claw is the tool that you use to jab or stab things when you're hunting. Yeah, that's right. The conductor on the dinosaur train uses his claw to punch tickets. Yeah, he's a troodon. They have amazing claws, too. Mm, not as big as ours. I'm pretty sure that Derek could punch tickets or anything better than a troodon. Right, like this nut. Wow, way to go, Derek. Welcome to Derek Deinonychus's first ever art show. Leafy snacks, carrying on a stick. Ooh, I'll try the carrion. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's look at Derek's art. I call this one Gourd Bird. Here's a jumping fish, a dragonfly, and a triceratops. Derek, this is great stuff. Oh, thanks. Your show is a huge success. Hey, I wonder where my parents are. We'll be right back. Derek's wondering where we are. Well, he should be practicing his jabbing and growling. So, where is he? Come on, we'll show you. What is this? It's interesting. Uh, yeah, I think it's really good. What do you call it? It's called art. Dad. And guess who made it all? Oh, uh, a bird? Uh, a lizard? Uh, uh, no, no idea, really. I did. I made them all. He, he made, made them with his claw. Really? <laughs> wow, Derek. Impressive. Oh, look. There's Alvin. I can see him from here. Alvin! Yoo-hoo! The Fair Pie Club is here! <laughs> hey, hey! Get on over here! Alvin, delighted to see you again. Oh, you too, Laura. Meet the Therapod Club. This is Buddy, Derek, and Angela. And our guests, Mrs. Pteranodon and Tiny. Friends, I have but one thing to say. Go Therapods! Go, go Therapods, go! Big or small, fast or slow. We walk on two like legs. Three -toed feet. And a Therapod's favorite food is meat. Run! Assorted dinosaurs, and I want to give a special Laraminia shout out to my old theropod friend, Mr. Conductor. <laughs> now, let's bring out a very special young theropod who wants to say a few words Buddy Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> and all you other species of dinosaur. Before I bring my friend out, I want to say that, well, I, I know how great theropods are. <laughs> but I learned that there isn't one single thing that makes us theropods, although we do all have these great three-toed feet. Yeah! But really, I'm just happy to be part of this big, amazing theropod family. And I want to keep coming to this convention for years and years until I'm grown up to be a big, giant T-Rex. And maybe someday, I could even be in charge of the convention, like my friends, Boris and Dolores Tyrannosaurus. I'm just trying to work on a new song, but it's so noisy and crowded in there, I, I can hardly hear myself think. Would you rather be by yourself? No, man, stick around, buddy. In fact, maybe you could help me figure out the rhymes. Ooh, figure out rhymes? Can I help, too? <laughs> sure thing, Tiny. I just thought of a title. A whole lot of theropods. Because I'm looking around and there's a whole lot of kinds of them, you know? Sounds great, because the Theropod Club needs a new cheer anyway. Our cheer could be your new song. Is it going to be about their features? A whole lot of features and a whole lot of creatures. Hey, man, that's good. And it rhymes, you know? Buddy, since we're both theropods, maybe we can sing a song together. <gasps> really? We can? Yeah, and I'll dance. <laughs> <laughs> Some have feet, some have beaks, some have beaks.
big with teeth. But every fair apollon wants some two big legs, and those legs have a three toed feet. <laughs> All of them are walking on two legs, and all their toes are clawed. A whole lot of features, a whole lot of creatures, there's a whole lot of fair apollon. Well, some eat fruit of insects, and some eat only meat. But all fair apollon walk on two big legs, and they come with three toed feet. I met a lot of creatures with some interesting features, and some of them are pretty odd. But all, all I, I know, know is everywhere I go, I find a whole lot of therapods. There's a whole lot of therapods. Dinosaur. <laughs> 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 so once upon a time, there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Tyrannodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratching and said, oh, One by one, her kids pop.